Ross and Abel. They have some new stuff coming out this year. That's what I love about these guys. They always debut some stuff at the show. So let's talk to Bart Larmouth and hear what he has to say about it. Hey, Bart Larmouth here, sales manager at Ross Reels. I want to talk to you all about a little bit about our new LTX coming out. That's Evolution LTX because it's replacing the original Evolution LT. We wanted to take that cool feel that the original Evolution and Evolution LT had, what made it the quintessential trout reel for the last 15 years, and but put in our new technology that we're using in our R series. So what we've got is a reel that has a, obviously a brand new cage, brand new look to it, but we kept some of the same features that the old LTs had, which was an escapement engagement. This time we beefed it up, have six teeth instead of four, changed the geometry, and made it out of a carbon Kevlar mix. So you still have that free spool, along with that really cool sound that they used to have, nice and soft, might be hard to pick up with the mic, but also just super, super smooth drag for those super light tippet. Added a really nice kind of color-coded drag knob with a lot more beef. The guys really wanted to use these to chase redfish and bonefish, but didn't quite have the power of the original guys. So now we're getting up to seven pounds of drag pressure with this thing, and it's really fantastic. Coming along with it at the same time, if you don't want super techy and lightweight, we're releasing the new Gunnison. So just harkening back to the old one, taking design cues from the original that was so many people's first reel. We've got that cool octagon shape, the round holes ported through it. You can kind of see it on both sides. What's really neat is unlike the original, now we've got a large arbor. So we have a large arbor on this using the same drag system as the LTX, which after, along with the escapement engagement, we actually have the carbon fiber and stainless steel discs down in the system here, again, yielding a really, really good amount of drag. So basically you've got super high tech lightweight, and as we joke, our Dodge Challenger, a nice retro cool, just, just bomber reel that's designed for guys to get beat up. Both are gonna be available this coming April. Also coming out this year, hopefully later this spring, is gonna be the new Able TR. We actually launched it here at the show in Denver. It replaced the original TRs, a lot of people's first reel. Classic Click Paul trout reel is what we're going for. Available in two sizes, that'd be two, three, and four, five. This is a four, five in my hand. Really distinctive, half ported, half solid design on the frame. Gonna allow us to really show off a lot of our fish graphics. This being the new native brown is an example. But we have a really clean front, no counterbalance, super smooth click and paw with a, with a really cool feature here on the inside. Just hidden down in there, we've got nice little machined in, a caddis, a mayfly, and a stonefly. Just kind of harkening back to the fact that this is a trout reel. That counterbalance, is able, we're able to not use it because of the extra weight we've put down the bottom here, which is really nice and hidden. Going to be available again late this spring at a fly shop near you. So I got some killer news about this particular reel right here. So apparently they weren't quite getting the brown trout colors right. So they showed them a picture of my Iceland brown trout, and this is modeled on one of my catches. Now that's pretty sweet. So here I'm at the Orvis booth. The number one question I've been getting recently is, how is the H3? Have I fished the H3? What do I think about the H3? Well, there's no better person to ask than Tom Rosen. This is the new H3 rod, and it's created a lot of excitement in the world of fly fishing. And what's the reason for that excitement? Well, it is, I believe, of course I work for Orvis, but I believe that it is the most accurate fly rod that has ever been designed. And the reason is that when the rod designers, we needed a new rod, we wanted to have a new rod, we found a new material, it took us about about 60 different graphite materials to find the right material, and then a totally new construction technique. And there's lots of different things that go into the construction of a rod, but one of the things that we did with this rod was to really increase the hoop strength and the lateral stability or the, the tracking of the rod. And we actually developed a machine to measure the vibration, both the vertical vibration and the horizontal, horizontal vibration of the rod after it comes to rest. And the quicker a rod comes to rest after it flexes properly, the fewer waves you're gonna have in your line. Fewer waves in your line means a couple things. One is that you don't lose energy into those waves. All the energy goes into driving your line forward where you're pointing your finger. And the other thing is, of course, it means accuracy. And these things are scary accurate. And that's the most, I mean, it's a beautiful rod to cast. It's fun to cast. It's light. It's no lighter than the H2. The rods are already pretty light these days. You actually feel a little bit lighter because there's a little bit less material in the tip of the rod. Um, but it's the same physical weight as the H2 or maybe a little heavier. But, you know, weight isn't a big deal these days. Rods are so light. Um, but 
Um, the accuracy is just amazing and just the joy of being able to put your fly exactly where you want it. Whether you're an advanced angler or whether you're novice, I think you'll notice the difference in this rod. It's just fun to fish because you can put the fly where you want it every time. The rods are going to be available by March 1st. The rods will be available in a three weight through a 12 weight. So the whole range of rods from uh, I think uh, eight, eight foot to uh, 10 feet long. It's actually going to be a 10 and a half foot uh, tight line nymphing rod. 10 and a half foot three weight tight, nine, tight line nymphing rod developed by George Daniel. Um, but you know, I have used these rods in the past year for little brook trout, big trout, bonefish, striped bass, tarpon, uh, and a few other things that I can't remember. Uh, and they're just been, it's just been so much fun to fish. In my 40 years at Orvis, this is the biggest jump in performance improvement that I've ever seen in a rod. All right, I'm gonna check out if Pete Kutzer could nail a target from 70 feet with the new H3. Parentheses, in the right hands. <laughs> so Pete, you think you can hit it? I'm gonna try, let's see what we can do. Project. Let's see what he has to say about it. So, as everybody knows, I normally do a film for the for the IF4, and this year I didn't because it just wasn't quite ready. And uh, so I'm going to roll it out online. It's called Trout Hunter, and it's with Renee Harrop and uh, friends, and it's based out of uh, Island Park, Idaho, and it's going to be awesome. So definitely check it out. And if you want to learn more about it or you want to follow, then go to at Von Beardley on Instagram or just search my name on Google. Apparently there's all kinds of information about me. <laughs> I'm here at Fly Vines. These guys are really cool. They repurpose fly lines. If you've been to the show, you've probably seen people wearing these. Well, this is where they're getting them. We've got some pretty cool stuff coming up, so let's talk to Erin Kane and see what she has to say. Hey guys, this is Erin with Fly Vines. We are based in Missoula, Montana, and we take recycled fly line and we turn it into outdoor accessory products. Everything is handmade by stay-at-home moms in Missoula, Montana, so we plan to keep it that way. The first product we created was the simple lanyard. Guides were looking for a simple solution for their clients, and voila, we picked up some fly line and that's how it all started. After that, we created the bracelet, which is a simple bracelet. It works for anybody. Um, they all adjust, and it seems to be the most popular item we sell across the board. You can put it on as for a kid, for an adult. People love them. We recently partnered with Chums to create a sunglass retainer that is great because it doesn't get stinky, it doesn't get wet, it doesn't sit on your neck, and it's 100% recycled. So that's been a great partnership for us. Look for a new product coming July. It should be better for you folks down in Florida. It has a better SPF for the bolt. And lastly, I would say the new product that has been really popular this year is our dog stuff. You, if you have a dog that gets in the water or just as a duck dog, they're great. They don't get stinky, they don't get wet. They're super strong, made out of spay line. So you should check them out at www.flyvines.com. Thanks, and stop by one of the shows, say hello, and we will give you a free keychain. Thanks. All right, so the question I get over and over again is, where's my next trip? Where am I going next? Well. It's Labrador. So here I am with Northern Lights Fishing Lodge. I'm gonna be going to Labrador. These guys have been operating for 27 years. They have big, big brook trout. They have lake trout. They have northern pike. They have landlocked salmon. They could put you on to some serious fish. And if you wanna check them out, go by Marlboro and Edison. They're gonna be at both shows and maybe arrange a trip for you. So here I am at Lampson's booth. Now many of you guys remember that we did check out the prototype of the Cobalt last year. Now we get to see it in action and Tim's going to tell us about it. Hi, I'm Tim Volk from Waterworks Lampson here to talk to you about our new intro into the saltwater reel market, the Cobalt. Cobalt's built from the ground up to be the ultimate saltwater fly reel. Based around a carbon cone drag system, completely redesigned drag system for us. The spindle remains inside, keeps the drag system sealed. 
particular reel is rated down to 30 meters waterproof. The big feature on Cobalt is also a single turn calibrated drag knob. So each one of these clicks is a half a pound, going all the way up to 12 pounds. It also has an adjustable origin, so if those clicks ever turn off, you can recalibrate it back to half pound. Um, on Cobalt, we're doing something called dual axis machining, new to the fly fishing industry, never done before. We're running front side operations and back side operations on different axes, which allows us to create more, more material up at the top of the reel and less in the bottom of the reel where it's unneeded. In addition to that, we do that same thing on the spool side, counterbalance the handle without a slug of metal. We progressively make the ports smaller opposite the handle to counter counterbalance it. Uh, other features on Cobalt are all external fasteners, our titanium Torx head fasteners, so no corrosion on them. Uh, Cobalt is a coating called Microlox, which is a type 3 hard anodized, then, then, then it's phase changed into a crystallized outer layer, so ultimate in corrosion protection. That is Cobalt. So here I am with Fish Mongolia. These guys start off as a conservation group and now are just a killer guide service. They're catching giant taimen. Matter of fact, uh, the fish are so big, it's the first time that uh, Fly Fishing Magazine has a fold-out cover to uh, get it all in the frame. So let's talk to Dan and see what he has to say. My name is Dan Bailey and I work with Fish Mongolia and Mongolia River Outfitters. And we run multi-day float trips and expedition trips all over northern and northeastern Mongolia. We run four different operations in Mongolia on two different rivers, the Delgamorin and the Onan River. And yes, the fish are so big that we were the first company to ever have a fold-out cattle, a fold-out uh, cover of the Fly Fishing Magazine. They did a trip with us last year and wrote a great story about it. And one thing that really highlighted in the story was sort of our conservation focus and message. You know, we started this business back in the late 90s, kind of focusing on the conservation of time in which is a rare and threatened species in Mongolia and worldwide. So we started this business up trying to raise awareness about this fish and work with the local communities and try to get the local Mongolians engaged in fishing and to care more about the resource. And over the last 15 years, we've really done a great job of kind of expanding the conservation footprint in Mongolia with the focus on fisheries and conservation. And you know, anymore, you know, there's fly fishing clubs all through Ulaanbaatar, which is the capital. We have a fantastic Mongolian guide staff that we've built up. You know, many of these kids were herding kids who, who lived along the riverbanks. They saw us floating down. They started rowing gear boats for us. And over the last five, six, seven years, they've built themselves up into one of the greatest guide teams that anyone can have. We supplement those guides with uh, some really fantastic guides out of Chile and America and together we've been all guiding on the rivers together you know most of us have 10 plus years of experience guiding over there and it is it's a, it's a fantastic trip you know we the way we operate with the float trips you know you show up you get in a boat and we're covering about 100 miles of river over a course of seven days going from camp to camp fishing all day sitting under the stars at night sitting around a campfire it, it really is a pretty ex, uh, exceptional trip you know, we come to these shows in Denver to talk to folks about our trips and about the conservation work we're doing. I'm a board member of the Timon Fund, which is a 501c3 we started to kind of help us raise money for these conservation projects. And we really have a really captive audience at these shows. So you can learn more about what we're doing. Uh, you can visit us at our website, which is www.fishmongolia.com or www.mongoliarivers.com. And you can learn a lot about our conservation work by visiting us at www.timeandfun.org where you can learn about all the conservation work we've got going on. We'll also be at the new fishing show in Edison, New Jersey, so come on by. Find the booth. We're the most colorful booth there is. We bring all our stuff from Mongolia and come by and say hello. We can talk about the fishing, the conservation, and see if Mongolia would be a good trip for you. So I'm here with George Daniels. Many of you have seen his books, Dynamic Nymphing, Strip Set. He's got some stuff coming up for 2018, so let's hear what he has to say. Hi, my name is George Daniel. I have a new book out this June called Nymphing, New Angles and Tactics. And you can catch me at the upcoming fly fishing shows in Edison, New Jersey, Lancaster, and Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm here at the Douglas booth. Let's talk to Dave McKenna to see what new rods they have coming up for 2018. Hey guys, Dave McKenna with Douglas Outdoors. We're here at the uh, 2018 Denver Fly Fishing Show with the brand new DXF 9.5 foot 6 weight. Uh, this is a rod that's out by popular demand. We're uh, showcasing it here. It's uh, finally available uh, for all the fly anglers out there. 
Uh, it's going over really well. This is a perfect rod for out here. Uh, whether you're in a drift boat or uh, throwing streamers, it's a great rod. We're really excited now. We've got the uh, newest addition to the Sky Series out. Uh, we've got two switch rods. We also have the newest addition to our Sky Series here, the 11 foot 4 inch 5 weight and 7 weight. Uh, this is probably one of the most advanced switch rods on the market now using the newest Fuji Torzite titanium stripper guides and single foot recoil guides here. Uh, just an amazing action, uh, perfect for trout or steelhead. Um, it's a rod that every spay caster is going to want to have in their uh, arsenal. So we're really excited to have these here. So we'll be at all the fly fishing shows this year. If you're interested in testing out any of these rods and the rest of the uh, series will be at Edison, Marlboro, Atlanta, Linwood, Pleasanton and Lancaster this year. So come out and uh, visit. What's up everyone? Thank you very much for watching. Please do go check out our website at wishforfish.com to keep up to date with what's going on with Wish for Fish as well as get some killer discounts and check out the Wish for Fish store for some sweet merchandise. If you're on Facebook or Instagram or other forms of social media, give us a follow at Wish for Fish. Most importantly, if you haven't subscribed already, please do because we're constantly updating new footage all the time. So you can do so by clicking this right here. And if you're interested in seeing more, check out some of our other videos from this season's playlist. Thanks a lot, everyone, and I'll see you guys in the water.